Hello, it's Katie Parker. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute little earrings using kite beads from the kit. They are really cute, really nice and lightweight to wear as well. So, we're going to start off with two different coloured kite beads, whichever of the kits you've chosen, and some of the size 11 seed beads. And what I've done is I've threaded five of the kite beads on at the kind of uh, more longer pointy end, we'll call that. The pointy end, um, I threaded them all on using that. So I've got two of one colour, one of a different colour, and two of the same, the same colour. I've got a piece of thread that is probably about 80 centimetres long. Okay, so I've got those five on there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up two 11s. Then I'm going to pick up an opposite colour. So on these earrings, I have used the, the same as the, the main colour. I've just got the one of the gold in there. And I'm going to pick that, pick that one up at the kind of, we'll call it the stubby end. So, and then we're going to pick up another two of the... Um, the size 11 seed beads okay so we're just going to let those drop down i haven't put a stop bead on here at the moment so we've got all of those on there and all i'm going to do is i'm actually going to tie a knot in there if you wanted to you could go all the way around here and um and do it that way if that's what you prefer some people don't like to tie knots i don't mind tying a knot so i've got one knot there over a simple overhand knot and then another one so and then i can just pull that quite tight, give that a push, and all my beads are in place nicely for me. Okay, so looking at where we are, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move around, so I'm going to come through all of those beads, that we, the bottom ones, sorry, thread just got caught, so I'm going to come through these, these size 11 seed beads, the, this one, and through to this opposite side. I'm going to start working around on that top section on a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through the bottom of one of the kite beads. We're going to work all the way around. Then I'm going to skip up. So I'm going to skip up to the top of that same kite bead. So I'm coming from here. You can see where that little gap is there. I'm coming up and through the top like so. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beads. And I'm going to pop this through that top, to the top of the very top of the earring. So that top hole. Okay, it's going to look like it's going wrong, but don't worry, it's supposed to look like that. We're going to add the shape in afterwards. So just holding that tail out of the way, we're going to do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to come through the top one at the opposite side. Like so. And now on all of these gaps, I'm going to add two beads. So two. And two. One, two. Two of our seed beads on each of these. And again, two, and another two. Okay, so once we've got all the way around, like so, what we're going to do is we're going to go through four of these beads that we added. This is going to seem pretty strange, but don't worry about it. I'm just going to go through four. Sorry, my thread keeps getting caught on my mat. So I'm coming through halfway through that little gap that we, that little um, bridge that we made in this in this way. So now I've got through four of those. And I'm going to come through these two seed beads here. Okay, so I'm going to come through those two seed beads. So these two seed beads in the centre and through the bottom of that kite bead. And what that is going to do is going to pull in at this section here. So I'm just going to give that a little tug and you can see now I've kind of got that shape. And I'm going to do the same with this side. So I'm going to come through these two seed beads. 
it's just a strange angle so it might take a bit of wiggling to get through like so we give that a nice tug so we're keeping that shape in the opposite side and then I'm going to choose this in between this fourth bead and I'm going to come back down in this direction like so so pulling that down and then I'm just going to give that a bit of a tug and kind of encourage it to go into into place and now what you'll find is you've got that shape and there we go and now we can start adding our edges around the outside so we're going to add one two three four beads and go through that too one two three four beads and go through the next two C beads And one, two, three, four beads and through the next two. And one, two, three, four and through the next two. So we're just working our way around adding four on each of these kind of corners. So four on the next one. So, and then we're going to follow our bead path all the way up to the very top. So all the way up to the top. Of here so we're going to follow through we're not going to go across where we skipped across last time to form that shape we're going to come right up through all of those CBs up to the top like so and now at the top here we're going to add eight one two three four five six seven eight so eight C beads at the top and then back down the other side like so. So now we've got that little shape at the top. You can just encourage them to stay in shape. So now we've got the shape at the top and we've got that little gap there that our earring finding is going to come through. And then we're going to come all the way through to the tip of here. So all the way through until we get to that very kind of tip point. And at that point, you should be able to see where we've got those two in between here this little two here, so if I just pull that up a little bit, we've got those the original two that we added and we've come through in the, come out in the middle of that four that we added. It might be hard to work it out, but if you go through, look at this two here, then we've got two at this side, so that's the middle point of the four that we added. And then we're just gonna add one bead and then get through, we're gonna work our way to that next point. So come through as many beads as you can so we've added kind of really kind of made that corner more prominent now and you'll be able to see kind of looking at that you can see where there's that gap just asking for a bead to be added to it so now we're coming up to this point adding another one and working our way back down and there we go so it's starting to look more shaped now and working our way back up to the next point, which will be the central one. And adding that one on. So just picking up one bead at a time for each of these. If you need to turn it round and work whichever way you feel comfortable with, that's fine because it's completely double, both, you know, kind of reversible, double sided, however you want to say it. But just work with however's comfortable. If you ever find you're working and, um, it kind of feels awkward just turn your work, work over and see how it feels working that way because that's probably the problem that you just need to turn your work and adding this last one there we go now that is our earring complete apart from adding the earring finding all I would do is work in this thread a little bit, maybe work it towards the, the original thread that we had here and, and tie that off again. And then it's just a case of using that little space there to connect to an ear wire. So I've got an ear wire here, so we'll just open that up. So you'll probably have to open it quite wide because it's a small space. And then just clicking that around like so, it's on there now and closing that ear wire. Obviously my threads are still connected there, but there you go, that's your earring complete. And absolutely beautiful, I love these colors. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon.
Bye.